Hi everyone. Today I would like to talk about a good human pathologist, philosopher, writer, scientist, Dr. S. J. Nagluti Matsar. He wrote his autobiography in the name of the Bichida Jodige, which is in the Kannada, which means a open bag of arms. He has given many contribution to the medical science like sedimentation cytology. Father name was Jambaya Naglutimat and mother name was Hampawa Naglutimat and, pre- and her previous address was Hiramat, Hampawa Hiramat. She is basically from Gadak whereas uh, Jambaya, Mr. Jambaya Naglutimat was basically from the Shirol which is at present which is at the Nargun Taluk, Gadak district, Karnataka, India. Jambaya has thrown out of his town and family that is Shirol and uh, Jambaya and Hampawa reached the Gadag from Shirol by walking which is about 60 km away. Gadag was Hampawa's native and Jambaya started working in a printing press at Gadag and Hampawa gave birth to a male child on 20th of 7th 1940 that was Sadashivaya that is nothing but Dr. S. J. Naglutti Matsar. Then, because of a good opportunity, they have shifted uh, to Rabukavi, that is from Gadag to Rabukavi. And later on, Mr. Jambaya has uh, started working in the uh, means his own printing press, that is at Banhatti. And Dr. S. J. Naglutti Matsar has passed his SSLC, that is 10th. In 1959, he was a brave student uh, of uh, his among his uh, classmates, and uh, he got admission in, at uh, Hubli for PUC. At the same time, his father started suffering from the tuberculosis. On those days, there were no any effective treatment or regimen for the tuberculosis, and uh, as I told. He got admission in KLE Societies, a PC job in college at Hubli for the first PUC. At that time, the PC job in was the new college. After the completion of second PUC, he got the engineering and he did the medical. I means at that time, Dr. Paute, Paute was a well-renowned name in the name of, in the field of the engineering, and he selected him to get the engineering seat. But the family was expecting him to become a doctor. Hence, he rejected the engineering seat and he did the MBBS at Karnataka Institute of Medical Sciences. After his completion of first year MBBS, his father died in the year 1961. See, I would like to recall his previous history. He has started, his father has started working with the Jiro and the, at the he, end of his life, he has earned uh, a very good house, nearly about 20 acres of irrigated land and a uh, good amount of gold also. Soon after his death, death his friends uh, have got some sign from the Dr. S.G. Nagrutimat and soon after that, within a few days, the Nagrutimat sir has lost everything lost the farms they lost the printing press and they sold the gold and he got married in the 1962 with the only one condition that they should bear the, his expenses and there were nearly about only six members to attend his marriage party in 1963 his mother died because of the ca cervix for that he uh, he got the treatment for his mother from the Mumbai. In 1965, he has completed his MBBS from Karnataka Medical Co- uh, College at Hubli. And uh, he started working as a lecturer in the Department of Microbiology, Pathology and Microbiology. Initially, he took the lectureship in anatomy. But later on, because of Dr. Chanapa's insistence, he shifted into pathology and microbiology.
in those days pathology and microbiology department were same and later on it got divided in 1969 he completed diploma in clinical pathology and soon after that in the first attempt only he has passed the md in pathology in 1970 so at the month on the month of the september so he worked till november and afterwards he shifted to jnmc belgaum as a lecturer in the department of microbiology in 19 see just he has joined in 1970 and he became within a year he has became the from assistant to associate professor and in the 1974 he has become the professor because of his capability and the support of dr jirge in 1979 he has constructed a pathology museum 1979 till today till today the institution has got a good name because of this museum only 1980 he published a work on the secondary diabetes in 1989 he got the highest award in the field of the medical science that is bc roy award in india so this is the highest award in india in the field of the medical science he got that award in 1989 in 1991 he shifted from belgaum to vijapur that is bld college and he uh, uh, he wa- he worked as a principal of that college till 1993 and he has constructed a stone museum there a different stones of the body like gallbladder stones urinary stones urinary bladder stones so different stones they have collected and they have present till today there is a stone museum at bld college because of some misunderstanding between the management and the principal he left the job and uh, he worked as a principal of jss medical college of mysore from 1994 to 1996 so he left the job at 1996 because he got an opportunity to become the kims that is karnataka institute of medical sciences publis a first director so previously it was a kmc and later on it becomes kims and he became the first director of that institution in 1997 he started jeevanadi see kims he has brought many improvement in the kims so he has improved the quality of the milk what they have given for the patient and the quality of the food and the instrument which were there unused which were kept unused and he repair he uh, helped to repair it and they have started refunctioning dialysis x-ray machines these were started as a refunctioning and he faced many problems because it's a government institution so a lot of commission issues were there and the politician used to interfere and he has to sacrifice all the people so he 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 become the obstacle for that and later on those people has started irritating him and they started opposing him and group d workers they came to strike to remove the director and uh, when he tried to convince those people those people has uh, uh, torn he means they have uh, pushed him here and there and the few people they slapped him and that is the reason he left the kims so this is the worst situation he got in his life i can say and uh, in the 19 so 97 he started a canada magazine that is a health magazine jeevanadi he has given the many contribution to the medical science in the field of brucella tuberculosis sedimentation cytology diabetes etc see his uh, thesis was on the tuberculosis 
so till that time they, they they were only aware that tuberculosis can spread to the equipment that may involve the skin and uh, lungs and the nerves and all those things and it's all it was not knowing that the tuberculosis is affecting the all the organs in the body so he has shown uh, by taking the liver samples and he has uh, submitted the thesis saying that it affect the all the organs in the body so sedimentation cytology so till now so if you take any biopsy to get the report we may need to wait for five to eight days so what he did he took the the specimen and he kept it to sediment whatever the detached cells they will sediment it sediment get sedimented and those cells are taken that you know, or secretion is or the fluid is taken for under the microscope and studied the cells so this is a very quick method of giving the result but till now it's not 100 percent reliable so that's why not got the much popularity but this is a very instant and uh, instant result we can get in 19 uh, in 2006 he uh, left this in yours on uh, october 24th of 2006 so he got detached from his family to children's grandsons granddaughters and uh, his students and patients so he has given a very great contribution in the medical field and this is a very short introduction about the dr naglotu matsa so if you like this video then kindly subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon thank you thanks for watching my video